Representative Stranger, LR 2450, resolve authorizing private health and human services to develop an alternative method of calculating minimum staffing levels in nursing homes. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, as we all know from everything that we have here in Augusta and out in the real world, funding is tight everywhere, and healthcare is certainly no different. Part of the ongoing efficiency conversations that are happening in all levels of healthcare. Uh, the folks that are involved in long-term care especially have been reviewing all the different rules and regulations. This bill would allow for a different method of calculating nursing home minimum staffing ratios. The current standard has been in place for more than 10 years and is a problem because of its rigid calculation done in eight-hour shifts. Uh, and also we learned in September of 11, CMS data says that Maine nursing homes average 4.2 hours of care per resident a day, with normally 2.9 is the average. We're the highest uh, in New England and the third highest in the country. What happens is the problem with our current system is that residents' needs do not follow exact eight hour growth shifts. And so this piece of the staffing ratio we're proposing for it to be changed and let the individual facilities figure out what is the best staffing ratio based on their particular residents' needs. The bill would allow providers the flexibility to do that. However, just keep in mind, the HHS would still survey based on the ability to meet residents' needs, but the calculation would now be done based on a 24-hour basis. This bill is also supported by Maine's long-term ombudsman program. Uh, and it's brought forward as a way to be smart. Oh, it's open. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Closed. Eight, two, 